right, how to use the Genie IDE to assemble and compile ARM assembly files on the Raspberry Pi. So you want to open up Genie, go to the build tab, set build commands, and you're going to add these two commands. It, you don't have to name them as I have. You just have to give them some sort of name so that they can appear later on on your drop-down menu like this. Now, a more efficient way to do this, of course, is to combine both of these instructions into a make instruction, like I did right here. They're only separated by uh, space and semicolon. If you do this, once you make changes to your assembly file, for example, say this is a iterative merge sort of 128 elements. Say I want to run for uh, 12. All I have to do is go to build, make, and then all I'm going to do is execute the file and then it does it for me. This uh, will save you a lot of time because you won't have to go into the terminal as is uh, typical and type in those instructions individually every time you want to make a change to your file and test it. So that is very effective and it saves a lot of time.